Yo, what's up guys? We hebben een kleine break gehad. Ik was met vakantie, maar we gaan vandaag gewoon weer verder met F1 23 Breaking Point. En als ik me niet vergis, zijn we bij chapter 11 aangekomen. En natuurlijk, we zijn op zoek naar een nieuwe driver. Gaat het haar worden? We gaan het meemaken. Let's go. Hey boss, got a couple of minutes? Tuurlijk. Aiden has been approached to help promote an F1 sim racing event. He agreed to take part without consulting with us first and the event has already been announced and his participation on social media. Should we still let him attend? Yeah, tuurlijk man. Yes, it's annoying that he didn't talk to us about it first, but getting his face out there is a good exposure for the team. Zeker. What's the compromise? It's not our deal, but let's see if we can agree for him to attend over a video. Nah, 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 nah. Agree. Why are you hesitating? You've always dreamt of racing in F1. Not like this. Do you know what he did? Well, who? Your father? He refused to support me. Said he'd only fund one of his children. Said Devon had better prospects. I'm sorry. I, I didn't know that. Mum used the divorce settlement to help me out, but... And you're only here because he sent you. No. This was my idea, my decision. And this is me asking you, Callie, not your father. We need a replacement and ask for you because I know how good you are. And that's the truth. I always said I'd do it on my terms, not his. I'll look out for you, just like I did in F2. Will you keep him away from me? I'll do everything in my power, everything, to make sure that all you have to think about is driving. Have we got a deal? You might never get this opportunity again. You know that. Could you take a look at this, please? There we go. An investment opportunity. Great news. One of our sponsors has unexpectedly paid a bonus early. There are a number of ways we can use this money. The question is, where should we invest it? Getting more performance from the car is paramount. A happy team is a productive team. Let's reward them with all the hard work and feed this back into the bonus pot. Factory. Our factory facilities still find behind, fall behind those of our competitors. Further investment here will help us for years to come. Lange termijn visie, we gaan voor Factory. Check we natuurlijk heel even het nieuws. Connor Sport zijn Kelly Meyer. En hier hebben we ons eerste telefoontje van Davidov al. Davidov. Ze stopten me in de garage. Just because Kelly's in there. It's ridiculous. We've had this conversation. You need to give her space. I'll hear you for now. But I don't like being told where I can and can't go around here. Don't forget, you talked me into this. What does that mean? Talked you into what? Signing Kelly in the first place. I'm just allowing you to take credit for it, that's all. Yeah, it sounds like you're trying to blame me. Well, if you're right about it, there'll be no blame to allocate, will there? Anything else? You're a busy man. I'll let you go. Kijk aan. Toch moet ik zeggen, één ding. Zit me een beetje dwars. Kasper Akkerman. Geef hem gewoon een Nederlands accent. Weet je, laat hem lekker Danglish praten. Heerlijk. Maar uh, Kelly Meyer, onderdeel van het team dus. Even kijken, Kelly Meyer press time, interview. Ja, het ziet er allemaal prima uit. Gaan we racen in Azerbeidzjan. History has made here today as Kelly Meyer, Connor Sports' latest signing, becomes the first female driver of the modern era to participate in an F1 race. What a moment! I've got goosebumps. Now, for those of you wondering at home, only a handful of women have entered at least one Grand Prix over the years, but none have even had the opportunity to qualify since 1992. Italy's Giovanna Amati, for those of you wondering. So today is very much a new dawn here in Baku. And Maya was impressive in qualifying. So let's see what the Grand Prix has in store for her. 
Yeah, I have to say, it is quite a tight-knit pack out there. Fierce competition all round. I really wouldn't want to call this one. Indeed. We've seen some brilliant driving here today, especially from young Callie Mayer. She seems to have made the transition to F1 as if she was born for it. OK, Callie, really good start. Keep it up. I'm not finished yet. Altijd een uitdaging om op Baku te rijden zonder te oefenen. But here we are. Overleven. Want de muren komen behoorlijk dichtbij straks. En hier pakken we Nick de Vries. En dan openen we de jacht op Norris. Right, we need to get past here. Use overtake, use overtake. Yeah, that's what we will certainly do, uh, Jeff. Well, he's not Jeff anymore. But for me, it's Jeff. We pack here also like the rest. And we think that we can try to get some noda, but it looks a bit far away. There is a touche. But we live still. Okay, good work. Great pass. En dan hebben we gelijk Eden voor ons. De rembotjes zijn moeilijk te zien door de bomen. Here comes Callie Mayer closing in on her teammates. I feel a nervous step for Ricky at the moment. I'm going. Aiden, calm down. You're on different strategies. Just let Callie pass. Okay, Callie. Aiden's going to let you pass at the next corner. Let's go. Copy. Will Mayer get past her teammate now? Here she comes. But this contact. Contact between the two Connor Sport drivers. You forgot it. Jackson's out. He gets the worst of it. Mayer's clear. Oh, Jackson's damage looks bad. I think you're right, Crofty. His race is over. Mayer seemed to catch Jackson unawares, though. I'm not sure why. What was that? Why didn't she wait for me to move over on the exit? Okay, Aiden. Are you all right? It's just another butler. Yeah, I know, Kelly. I'm sorry about that, but it's happened now. It's over. Let's get your head down and focus. Come on, talk about it later. Coffee. Heel dicht op staan bij elkaar. Niet genoeg om een inhaalmanoeuvre te plaatsen. Dat gaan we hier doen. We gebruiken een beetje ERS voor. Volgende doelwit, George Russell in de Mercedes. Nu wil ik even op om die DRS. Ja, we waren een beetje conservatief, maar... Uh, je wilt toch oppassen met die muren. Het gaat vier seconden. Dan raken we heel eventjes de muur. 
Hat geflogen in der 2,5. Ich moet goed komen. Als we niet iets geks doen. Zoals we net bij. Deze curve is wel eng. Je kan helemaal niks als die bodemplaat uh, midden op die, uh, op die curve zit. Het gaat 1,8 seconden. Dan krijg je weer die ERS leeg. Eén seconde. De middels in de DRS zone. Ik denk dat we hem hier gaan pakken. Netjes aan de binnenkant. Het blijft toch een lastige bochtcombinatie. Ja, dat moeten we nog uh, Perez moeilijk kunnen gaan maken. De rechterband, met de rechterkant van de auto. Een prima pakken, maar we moeten er niet verder overheen gaan. Gaat één keer maar vier. Maar loopt op. Dit is ook denk ik DRS. Dat is logisch. Oké, okay, you're in the top 10. Putting good distance between yourself and the car behind. Last net niet binnen de seconde. Oh, dit gaat helemaal niet. Objective te pakken. Nice work, mate. That brings you up a place. Wat zou je er het Ik ga er niet voor met Gasly. We pakken wat we pakken kunnen. Bonus objective is al in de pocket. De rest kunnen we niet gebruiken, die is leeg. En de gap to the car in front is 1.9 seconds. Geen goede lijn hier door die bocht hoor. Maar dat moet je me maar vergeven. Want daar wordt het grappig stuk klein. Oh, mijn schade ging. Right, we've got enough fuel for three more laps. 
Het enige wat je echt niet wil op Baku is uh, vleugelbeschadiging. Maar we leven nog, dat is het allerbelangrijkste. Just bring the car home, I guess. Die toch wel moeilijk kunnen gaan maken. Nou, hier moeten we dus iets voorzichtiger zijn. Door, door de schade die we hebben opgelopen. En ook door deze snelle bochtencombinatie. We komen natuurlijk daar voor tekort. Dat was gevaarlijk. We hebben de dus Het laat heel even zo. Dit moet wel lukken. Goed verdedigd door Gasly. We komen net te vroeg. We gaan nog een keer proberen. Het is gewoon mijn pedalen los en moet ik een, uh, een flashback doen. Niet helemaal netjes uh, wat uh, Gasly dan. Ja. Dit moet weer in de muur te dalen. Hmm. Hmm. Altijd weer die Fransozen. Jezus, wat is het mis met je? Hij is wel heel aangezien zeg. Oké, okay, just two laps of fuel remaining now. Het is een kop veel achter bij ons ook aan. Hm. Dit wordt lastig. Dat zijn we nu in DRS. Ik hou hier de binnenkant. Dat was een beetje gokken. We zijn er nog lang niet vanaf. Steeds gemaakt met de rest. We moeten vroeger remmen, want we missen behoorlijk wat downforce. Vraag me af of we genoeg juice hebben voor de, voor de strijd straks. We gaan nu toch een redelijk gat hier. Dit is moeilijk liften. We moeten het gewoon niet meer redden. Dan moeten we dus hier in deze snelle bochtencombinatie nog een keer doen. Dat is mooi. 
En daarmee pakt Kelly Meyer in haar eerste race. Gelijk alweer. Zevende plaats boven Eden Jackson. En dat is het einde van de race. We zien je in Park Fermé. Well, in spite of the drama amongst those at the top of the standings, so much of the discussion today has centered around Connor Sport. Absolutely, a bittersweet race for them today. One historic debut, one DNF. I mean, you couldn't write it. And talking of that debut, what did you make of Callie Mayer's first ever start? Well, I am so excited to see Callie racing in F1. It is great for the sport. She is a phenomenal talent. I can't wait to see what the season holds and her career as a whole. And if today is anything to go by, the name Callie Mayer is one that we'll be watching with a lot of interest for many years to come. And here we are, a team that is no stranger to the podium, taking their place on top. Charles Leclerc. Again. A sublime race today and a stunning win for Ferrari. Max is there by Carlos Sainz. Voelt bijna als een vlogen tijden. Dus uh, het wordt wel weer een beetje de hoogste tijd dat Ferrari uh, wat meer meedoet aan de top. Zonde. Zonde om te zien namelijk. Wellicht dat ze wat pot kunnen breken op, uh, op Zandvoort. Ik weet niet of jij naar Zandvoort gaat. Ik, uh, ik ga wel. Maar uh, alleen op de vrijdag. Helaas, helaas. Ik heb geen kaartjes voor zaterdag of zondag. Maar ik ben er de vrijdag. Beloofd een leuke dag te worden. In ieder geval genoeg auto's uh, op het circuit natuurlijk. En een boel gezelligheid. En do you feel extra pressure at Connor Sport? Must be difficult with your dad looking over your shoulder. Look, it's F1. It's not possible for me to feel any more pressure than I already do. So no, it's not an issue. Kelly, have you felt any pushback from anyone in the F1 world? Just with you being the first female driver in the sport? No, everyone's been amazing. And I'm not the first, I'm just the latest. How's your brother? Are you really just keeping his seat warm? Uh, you'd have to ask him that, um, but he is getting the help that he needs. And no, I have no intention of giving up this seat. What happened out there between you and Aiden today? Uh, it's just a mix-up. Um, I, I thought he was letting me through on the entry, but he clearly had other ideas. We spoke to him earlier, and he said he was deliberate on your part. Any comments on that? Uh, it was just a misunderstanding. You've always gone by Mayer, and now you're in a team financed by your father, driving in your brother's seat. Would you go back to the butler name? Should have expected it, right? I thought you did. That's not what I mean. I mean, I'm a woman. I get it. I'm happy to talk about it. Then what is it? Well, it's always the same, isn't it? So you're a woman, and then every question about Dad, about Devon, about the butler, name. Just forget about it. Oh, I can never get away from it, can I? The only question about the race was about Aiden. Well, you know, maybe if we'd let it run a little longer, there would have been... Casper! Don't defend them. Sorry, you're right. Sorry. <sighs> Look, it's fine. I'll be faster next time. The incident at Baku. Do you think she did it on purpose? She did do it on purpose. Yeah. Check the footage. So you didn't warm to her? We weren't the best of friends, no. Nou, gelijk al een, een spicy start van, uh, van de carrière voor Kelly Meyer. We hebben in ieder geval ons doel verbracht. We moesten in de top 10 eindigen. Sterker nog, we zijn 7 geworden. Daarmee ook onze bonus objective gehaald. Maar natuurlijk ging het de hele race over de crash tussen Aiden Jackson en Kelly Meyer. En hier krijgen we een telefoontje van Evelyn. Hey mom. Kelly, I couldn't be prouder, darling. Well done. Oh, thanks, Mum. It was a good race. Felt great out there. Oh, it was a, a good race. Oh, no, what is it? What, what do you mean, what is it? What's what? I can hear it in your voice, Mum. It was a good race. No, it's nothing. Go on. No, no, it's just that... You didn't do it on purpose, did you? <laughs> when you clipped poor Aiden. I can't believe you're even asking me. Did you really raise your daughter to behave like that? Well, I'm really not sure. It was an accident, Mum. I'm, I'm hanging up. Oh, of course it was. Uh, bye, darling. Lots of love. Okay, okay, okay. Nou, jongens, dit was chapter 11 van F1 23 Breaking Point. Binnenkort chapter 12. See you then. 
Tchau.